Yeah, we are continuing to track that big upper level low out towards the west. The Weather Service has already issued a flash flood watch. Now, not in effect today. It is in effect tomorrow evening through Tuesday morning. For most of our areas, we are going to be seeing the potential increasing of some heavy rainfall around the area. Now, this morning, got a nice looking shot, a close up of the capital. Got a little bit of an east to southeast breeze. We've got temperatures right now sitting at 68 downtown. We've got a humidity very high at 90%. You notice most of the readings are still running. About 10 to 15 degrees above normal this morning, meaning they're in the mid to upper 60s, even some low 70s out there. But uh, again, the big story is going to be that upper level low that's spinning out towards the west this morning. Lots of moisture kind of pooling out ahead of it. We've got a lot of moisture at the surface still moving through our area this morning. So it's going to be a very moist go in the next two days. But I think at least uh, today, we're going to see a lot of isolated to scattered showers developing off towards the south and west. And a couple of them will make its way into our area later. Later on this afternoon into the evening hours and then tonight we'll see a few little showers around and then Monday starts to get wet across the area. So looking at our future clouds and rain this morning showing cloudy skies by lunchtime. You notice a few showers off towards the west and a couple of sprinkles to the south and again just like uh, the last couple of runs showing a few little showers moving through our area between about five and seven o'clock this evening and then we'll see ma mainly cloudy skies through the overnight hours tonight. But then we begin to watch showers and thunderstorms storms developing off towards the west by tomorrow morning. That will start to combine with all of the moisture in the Gulf of Mexico and bring us increased chances of rain through the day tomorrow. And then tomorrow night, that's when the rainfall really gets going. So looking at our rainfall estimates in our in-house computer model, check this out. By Tuesday morning, we pick up uh, nearly 2.8 inches of rain up near Georgetown, about two and a half inches of rain here in Austin, about two and a quarter down the road in San Marcos. And even the lower spots like out near Orlando at about an inch, uh, about 1.4 inches almost. Fredericksburg picking up about 1.6 inches of rain. And these are estimates. I think some of the higher numbers could be pushing near four inches of rain by the time this system moves out of our area on Tuesday afternoon. So our forecast today, looking for mostly cloudy skies, a few afternoon showers, maybe a thunderstorm, 79 for the afternoon high, 67 expected tonight. And then as we look ahead at the next seven days, we are going to see temperatures at 79 again tomorrow for the first day of spring. Spring on Tuesday, going to be very wet early with a little bit of drying late in the day. And then some drier and cooler air moves in for Wednesday and Thursday. The mornings will be cooler. The afternoons are going to be nice in the mid to upper 70s. We'll see humidity returning by the end of the work week into the weekend with highs in the low 80s.